What's up Godzilla fans, Gojira5400 here, and today I'm here to do a video, and today's video is actually on some Jurassic World stuff, yeah. The trailer was released today, it's so epic, so awesome, I can't wait for the movie to come out so bad it comes out next summer, but still super awesome looking. So in this video I'm just going to be doing an analysis and stuff of the trailer, so as it goes by, and yeah, let's get right into it. So, this scene we see is just a basic airport scene. And she's, you know, saying, if anything chases you, run. But the cool thing about this scene is that always in Jurassic Park movies, there are always kids. There's always, you know, children. So in this scene, it just shows you that the main cast is going to be like children. So it's really cool. I like that. We get to see logos here, which is pretty cool, I guess. I, I really like how they like, transition with the logos here. It looks really interesting. But, then, if you look here, it says Isla Nublar, which is the original island, not Isla Sornar. And then, we see here, the Jurassic Park symbol. I forget what this kind of boat was called, but we saw pictures of these five months ago. Yeah. You see a nice zoomed out shot of the island, which also looks really cool. And we get to see this shot, which I really like. He's so surprised. And if you look, you can see it through the reflection. He's like, okay, that, he looks a little dirty there. There we go. He's like, oh, it's Jurassic World, the sign. I really love this new sign. I really like the blue, too. The monorail goes through. And all these people, look at all these people. You can tell, like, you know, there's black people, there's white people, Hispanic, you know, Asian, stuff like that. So it's really cool. It's a mixed culture. It's not just the white people, you know, or it's not just the black. Well, I'm trying to you know, sound racist. But I'm just saying, like, it's not all one type of people. It's all people from all the world because look, here you can see they have different languages in the Spinosaurus skeleton for some reason. But John Hammond's intentions of the park wasn't supposed to be for all the, you know, rich people. They were supposed to be for everybody. I like how they respect that. And you see the Gallimimus shot with about seven people in there, I think. Yeah, but it looks really cool at the safari again. And this shot I really like, you get to see the two stegosaur, you get to see some uh, sauropods over there, it's hard to tell which ones. But they go down the river, this really reminds me of the Jurassic Park ride over at Universal in Orlando. I live about an hour away from Orlando, so I've been on it you know, plenty of times, it's really awesome. But look how close they are, that's amazing. It's awesome. Then we get to see the gyosphere, and that's what these things are right here. And I actually mistaken him for a father, that's actually the two children, the brother. And then we get to see the Brachiosaur. Really cool. And we get to see the SeaWorld shot. And right about here, this is actually a Jaws reference if you don't catch it. It's Jaws, you know? Because Steven Spielberg is the one who created Jaws, or, yeah, the director. So they were kind of paying homage to him, I'm guessing, by doing this. I love pausing the shot right about here. Just awesome looking right there. Looks so cool and I like when he closes his mouth. Oh, it's so cool. But I like how all the people are literally filming on their iPhones. It's so cool how they like realize all the modern stuff. It's like a real amusement park. So we have learned more in the past decade. And right here I think it's kinda of like a little nod to the first film where they were doing that whole thing with the amber. How they, uh, you know, took out the DNA from the mosquitoes, from the tree sap, the amber. I think it's a little reference. And then right in here, we might see in the movie Dr. Wu around here, because if you don't know him, he's the scientist from the movie. And, uh, yeah, he's making a comeback in this movie. But these also remind me of the Velociraptor eggs from the first one, which he actually was a part of. Spoiler, in the book, he did die from the Velociraptors in the lab, but he didn't in the movie. First and I guess you could say that she's kind of the new John Hammond. And right there, it looks really cool. It kind of looks like a rib cage or something. Like a te it reminds me of a test tube, baby. Chris Pratt, looking awesome. And I really like this because it really reminds me of the old kind of Jurassic Park style where you would just see scratch marks everywhere. Really cool looking though. Depends on what. What kind of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab. And I love this music that goes along with it. But this shot, they show a bunch of shots like these. Like in the first half, 
it was, you know, all calm and peaceful. This hat, or half, it's going to hell, you know? I really like this. And if you look right... Evacuate the island. I didn't catch this in a video, but it says restricted area. I want to do a video on that later. But then you can also see all the forecast systems and then, you know, monitoring of the park and exhibits. And little dinosaur knickknacks. <laughs> and then here we go is the gyosphere. You can obvious tell you know obviously tell it's destroyed. She's a highly intelligent animal. And then I'm guessing they might find a dead body or something up there because it, you know, just formed basically. And then that guy, that guy might have been in the second movie. I kind of remember someone like that in the second movie. I don't know. Kill anything Jumping on the waterfall. Oh God. And this is the Diablos Rex in some weird looking claws. Uh, reminds me of the Baryonyx or Super Mario. And then this scene, this scene right here. Let me skip it back. So the whole story though is that they created the dinosaur, right? And they're basically all doomed to hell. But this scene coming up right here, this is where I think this is the scene where they figure out they need something that can defeat this thing. And they're going to call the T-Rex. Look at that. Do you remember that from the first film when they did that? Ian Malcolm did that? They were like, he was like, come over here. This is the scene where she calls the T-Rex. And the T-Rex fights the Diablos Rex. I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Terrorist. Oh, yeah. Very suspenseful. And then the logo. Awesome looking, right? But that's not it. No, this scene. Look at that! <laughs> Here, let me do another shot of that. Just look at that. He's a raptor trainer, and they're not biting him. He's riding a motorcycle with raptors. How badass can you get? So epic looking. Wow. Yeah, well, that's basically the whole trailer. So, uh, yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, go. I'll leave the link down in the description below. I probably left an annotation at the beginning of the video too. But thank you guys so much again for watching. And Gojir5400 out.